This is Florida in a nutshell. Case of Budweiser on a tractor. Hey, what's up, people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. We're gonna go over my one year experience because this phone has been out, believe it or not, a year and we're not getting a new Note this year. So let's talk about this one, whether or not you should upgrade if you have a Note 10 and you've been waiting on that new Note and obviously it's not coming till next year and how it compares to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is the elephant in the room. Let's talk about it. Let's get pricing out of the way since that's probably the biggest deciding factor for most people. If you currently own a Note 10 or a Note 10 Plus, you can trade that in for a $450 credit and pick up the Note 20 Ultra for $599. And that's a pretty dang good price. If you're more interested in the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you can pick up that phone for $675 with a $325 trade-in credit for your Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. Of course, if you go the use the refurbished route, you can pick up this phone for even cheaper. However, I do like Samsung's warranty. Plus a lot of the times they give you some credit to pick up accessories. So I definitely recommend buying it brand new. When it comes to durability, my Note 20 Ultra has held up pretty good. I mean, the backside has, has been immaculate. Like there's no scratches at all on the backside. It's held up really well due to that matte glass. But on the front, I have quite a few scratches, including some deep ones, almost like a cat and my phone got into a slap boxing match. Not sure what went on there, but um, yeah, I definitely recommend picking up a screen protector for this phone. I had one initially, I took it off just to see how well the um, just actual display would fare over time. And it has quite a few scratches, including a ton of micro scratches. And like I said, three or four really deep ones. So just be mindful of that. If you pick up this phone or if you already have this phone and you're contemplating a screen protector, you definitely need one. One thing I don't discuss enough is if anything has malfunctioned over a year's time and nothing has malfunctioned on this phone. I've had no problems with the battery, no problems with the speaker, no problems with the ports, nothing like that. And the S Pen still works just as good as it did day one. In fact, with the software improvements, which we'll talk about later, it actually performs a little bit better. But in terms of just anything malfunctioning, everything functions beautifully still, and that's definitely a plus. So when it comes to durability, outside of the front display, everything has been fantastic. So I'm gonna give it like a B plus to an A minus. I don't know why I'm grading this phone. I don't do a grading system, but for this video, we're gonna grade it. B plus, A minus. So let's talk about performance. My Note 20 Ultra has the Snapdragon 865 Plus and 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I gotta say, this phone performs excellent. Despite being one year old, I rarely have any hiccups, any lag, or any stutters for that matter, when it comes to this phone. Is it the latest and greatest, like the S21 Ultra? No, but I think it's very comparable when you're talking about real world performance. Now, of course, benchmarks are gonna be higher for the Snapdragon 888, but, this is no slouch and when it comes to mobile gaming or just getting things done by multitasking, it performs flawlessly. So on the flip side to this, if you still have the Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, you'll actually see quite a bit of an improvement when it comes to performance by jumping to the Note 20 Ultra. You'll be able to game a little bit more and because this has a better display, you'll actually get a higher frame rate when doing mobile gaming because of the 120 hertz refresh rate of this display. So you will definitely notice improvements in multitasking, gaming, and just day-to-day -day activities when you're comparing the Snapdragon 865 Plus to the 855. When it comes to battery life, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which is definitely smaller than the S21 Ultra. However, it's still an all day battery. Of course, battery life is very subjective. It's gonna come down to how often you use your phone, how often you're on Wi-Fi versus 5G versus 4G. However, for the most part, and for the average consumer, I have a feeling that this will easily last you a full day. But one thing I do have to throw out there, since I've first picked up this phone to now, my battery life has decreased. Like every update, it does get a little bit worse. In the beginning, it got better, but after a year, I would say maybe five and a half to six hours of screen on time, that's about what I'm averaging. Like I said, it's still an all day battery life, but it's gone down quite a bit over a year's time. But once again, if we compare the battery life of the Note 20 Ultra to the Note 10 Plus or the Note 10, you're gonna get quite a bit better battery life. I mean, it's a larger battery, it's a more efficient processor, so it's a no brainer in that aspect. Had to get some coffee, put a little pep in my step. So one thing I wanna talk about is software 
because Samsung has been really good with software updates and that continues to be so with the Note 20 Ultra. I've received monthly security patches. They've pushed out quite a few um, updates that brought new features and enhancements and also even improved things like the camera and the overall performance. So when it comes to software support, they have absolutely nailed it with the Note 20 Ultra. When it comes to these new features, most of them were camera oriented, which we're gonna talk about here in a minute, but there were quite a new features that were brought over to enhance multitasking capabilities and just make the overall fluidity of the OS a little bit better. Now, one thing I don't like is the fact that they did not bring the Google Now feed to the Note 20 Ultra. It's like an S21 exclusive, which doesn't make any sense to me. It could easily be pushed out in an update. And while I do appreciate Samsung free, I just would rather have my Google Now feed. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Would you rather have Samsung free or the Google Now feed? Or would you rather Samsung just give you the option to choose the one that you want, just like it is on the S21 series. So of course, this being a note, you get all of the S Pen functionality. And while the S21 Ultra does have S Pen support, it's not the same as the Note. Like this S Pen can be used as a remote to trigger your camera. You also have other functionality like the air commands or the little Harry Potter gestures that you can do to trigger an app and then go through your gallery. So while the S21 Ultra does have that S Pen, it's just not the same. And that's something that I do appreciate about the Note lineup. Another thing you might want to consider if you're holding off for this new Note is MST support. So with Samsung Pay, the Note 20 Ultra was the last flagship to feature MST support when it comes to Samsung Pay, meaning that you can use this with older credit card swipers. Now I know most stores have been updated to support NFC-based payments, but there still are plenty of gas stations out there and these you know, small town gas stations that have regular credit card swipers, and that's where a phone like this will come in handy if you're trying to invest in a mobile payment form. Samsung Pay is still, in my opinion, the best form of mobile payment out there. Speaking of removing features, if the S21 Ultra is anything to go by, then more than likely the new Note coming out next year will not feature a micro SD card slot, whereas this one does. So again, that's just one more reason to hop on the Note 20 Ultra instead of waiting. So the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can take really, really good looking pictures and video. If you're unfamiliar with the camera specs, here they are. When it comes to the updates and all the improvements that Samsung has made to this camera, it's been really good. I mean, they've pushed out new features, they've pushed out a lot of enhancements, and they've improved the overall image quality quite a bit since its initial launch. So some of these new features and enhancements include better low light photography, as well as night mode using the ultra wide camera. We also have additional portrait mode effects and just overall better portrait mode photos. The latest new feature is dual recording, which allows you to use the main sensor on the back combined with the selfie camera to record video, which is great for social media videos such as TikToks as well as Instagram reels. So we got some uh, Pringles, Wendy's spicy chicken. Let's see what these things taste like. Grab one of these like this. Whoa, that actually tastes like a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. I know. So let's wrap this up. I think the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is a fantastic phone, even though it is one year old, even though you might be waiting on the new Note to come out in 2021, this is still a good purchase, especially with that $599 price tag if you're planning on trading in your Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Also, don't think about it as you're gonna buy this phone and you, know, you don't have to buy the Note 21 or whatever new Note comes out next year. You could still trade in this phone to get an even larger credit for the new note. So say the new note comes out and it's $1,200, brand new. They might give you up to $700 for a trade-in value when it comes to the Note 20, so you're still gonna get it for like five or 600 bucks, which is exactly what you would pay for for this phone trading in your Note 10 or Note 10 Plus now. So if you're a Note user or a Note enthusiast and you've been eyeing the Note 20 Ultra, just go ahead and get it. It's not gonna let you down and you're gonna be happy that you bought it. But let me know what you guys think. Is the Note 20 Ultra worth it in 2021 or should you wait for the new one to be released in 2022? I love hearing from you guys. Comment down below and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Deuces.